Could the Midtown uniform be going the way of the leisure suit from back in the 70s? I'm Michael Gargiulo, and this is Listen Up. So grab your umbrellas. There's going to be showers this evening. The highs only in the upper 50s. Actress Allison Mack, she's pleaded guilty now to racketeering charges for her role in an alleged sex cult. You may remember Mac from the show Smallville. Yesterday, she admitted to being one of the top people in the group called Nexium. She was arrested last year, accused of recruiting women as sex slaves. Prosecutors say those women were brainwashed and branded with the initials of Nexium leader Keith Raniere. The trial for Raniere just started yesterday. Her attorney says women were never abused. Well, we were talking about this yesterday, a massive search is underway and even heating up for that missing New York couple in the Dominican Republic. That couple mysteriously vanished on vacation there. Police say Orlando Moore and Portia Ravinelli were supposed to return to Mount Vernon more than a week ago, but there's been no sign of them or their rental car since they checked out of their hotel. Ravinelli's family is in the Dominican Republic trying to track them down. Moore's sister says he's not the kind of guy who would just run off. All right. So if you work around Manhattan, no doubt you've seen people in this new uniform. They call it the Midtown uniform. It means you wear like casual pants, a button down shirt, and then a Patagonia vest. All right, the look is called the Midtown uniform. It's even got its own Instagram account, but it may not be so much on the trend anymore. And that's because Patagonia is apparently going to stop selling branded vests to financial and tech companies. They say they're shifting their focus to firms they feel are doing good things for the world. All right, are you in for this change? What do you think about it? Let us know. That's all for today. Check back tomorrow for more on these stories and more 